did I just, what did I just even read? Welcome back to my channel, Wine About Books, where we talk about our favorite morally gray men and all the red flags that we love to ignore. Before we go any further, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And with that, let's get into today's episode. All right, guys, let's talk about Haunting Adeline. Uh, another one, kind of like the ritual that was recommended to me for on this very a uh, lot of different platforms, many different times. And I kept putting it off. I I I think what was throwing me off is that it was advertised as a paranormal romance and I wasn't sure how I felt about that. That being said, I can tell you, I don't, I wouldn't classify this as a paranormal romance. There's obviously some paranormal aspects. I don't know. Maybe I just had some bad information, but that being said, I finally picked it up. I finally read it and what the fuck did I just read? I mean, I love this book. I could not put it down. It, Mm -hmm. Adeline Z or Zay, whatever you want to call him. Mm. Let's just get into it and talk about it a little bit. We won't spoil it, but yeah, you learn early on Adeline is a, is an author and, um, very popular author. And she has just inherited this very Victorian mansion that you would probably see in like a haunted house from her grandmother. And she's always loved scary things. You know, she's a girl who's loved horror. She's, she loves mysteries thriller she likes being scared you know that, that that type of girl you know we all know someone like that i'm like that i love horror movies like i remember on mother's day i watched evil dead rise because that's what i wanted to watch but i digress anyway so adeline i can very much relate to in that way she is very much a, a no fucks given kind of girl and she doesn't really take shit and she's just very blunt very like direct and i love that about her so much and she moves into this house. Her mom's kind of like, I don't know why you would want this house. This house is creepy. This house is old. And she's like, yeah, this house is like right up my vibe. Oh, right up my alley. And, you know, some weird things happen. And like, creak, like she'll hear noises and shadows and creaks. Or you think it's haunted. And like the book kind of leads you to believe it is. Whether or not it goes into it, I'm not really going to say. Because you should obviously go read it. Um, so, but yeah, this is like her vibe. This is who she is. It's like this dark, gothic, Victorian haunted mansion and I love it I love it so much set in Seattle so you have like that well outside of Seattle so you have like that gothic dark broody weather and it just sets the tone it sets the vibe Zaid you find out is uh, a man with a mission he has a mission to take down organizations that sell people for other people's personal use and it's his mission in life to Free these people, take down the or take down these organizations, and that's what he does. And he's done it for years. He, you know, he kind of goes into like how he's able to afford it, how he does. Obviously, he got a bunch of money, and he actually has. I call it like, I don't know if it's actually heterochromia, but you know, he has two different colored eyes. He has a scar going up down his face. You know, just six foot six type. Yeah, the perfect, exactly what we want in our little shadow daddy here. So. He sees Adeline, and he's a good guy. Like, well, he's morally like gray. Let's put it that way. Uh, he sees Adeline at a book signing that she's doing, and he is just enamored with her. And he uses all his skills, his hacking skills, his uh, his his skills, and being able to find these people, these secret organizations, and he uses it to essentially stalk her. And there's a scene in the beginning where she's trying to hook up with a guy, and you know, he's like, he says like. Hey, I'm going to, any guy that touches you, I'm going to cut his hands off and deliver him to your front door. And she lets this guy touch her. And next thing you know, this guy's hands are severed on her front door. And that's in like the first couple chapters. So you're like, okay, let's do this. Here we go. So yeah. So throughout the book, he's stalking her and she's obviously like freaked out by it, but she's not, you know, she also is oddly well, let's be real. She's oddly excited by it. Like she knows she should feel threatened, but she doesn't. And that bothers her. She's like, I know I should feel threatened, but she doesn't. And she kind of like taunts him just like he taunts her back. You know, she'll find like things like that. He'll be like, he's been in her house. So she'll undress in front of the window just to, you know, basically fuck with him. 
And this kind of goes on for a little bit. And you learn as the story is going on that her Adeline's grand grandmother was, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, her great grandmother was unalive. And basically she finds a diary and she is learning that her great grandmother had an affair and she's keeping a log of this in her diary and you learn that her grandmother was having an affair with someone and she also had a stalker. Her grandmother's unaliving went unsolved. And so it's an unsolved cold case. And so Adeline tries to make it her mission to solve her grandmother's case. And she learns that she has had an affair with someone and also has a stalker, which she finds is like you know, just kind of ironic that her grandmother had a stalker. She is a stalker. And you don't actually quite know, like, is the... Like the a man she's having an affair with, is it her stalker? Did the person who murdered her, was it her husband? Was it her stalker? Or was it a third party that, you know, there's a third guy she keeps mentioning. So you're piecing it together throughout the book. Like you get little snippets of the diary at the beginning of Adeline's chapters and you're kind of piecing it together with her. And in the meantime, Zade is trying to hunt down this, let's call it like the society. It's a... Secret society, obviously, that dabbles in selling people or unaliving people to satisfy certain rituals, I guess you could say. Uh, and said people tend to be uh, underage, which makes it just even worse, if that's even possible, but makes it even worse. And so in order to infiltrate this organization, he has to befriend someone who is a big shot in this organization. And he tries to make them think that he wants to join them. And in this process, he, because he's stalking Adeline, the, the big head, big wig, the head, the big wig of the society, um, notices Adeline and he kind of makes, he, he kind of ensues that, you know, they want her. They want to take her and, you know, sell her. And of course, so this gets Zade all riled up, but he has to keep his composure. He has to stay cool. He has to maintain this facade of wanting to join the society so he can infiltrate them and bring stop it and bring it to an end. I, I can't really go too much into what happens because it's going to be a spoiler. But let's just say um, he drugs Adeline into this world, this dark world. And on she's also, and it kind of, it does tie into her grandmother's, her great grandmother's murder. So it, it's kind of fun to see. However, yeah, he, he drags her from this very simple life into this huge world of deception and lies and secrets. It's, it's a worldwide organization. I actually had someone once tell me that this was fan fiction of a, I don't even know if I can say it on YouTube, of a certain anonymous group whose name starts with the letter Q and kind of reading it. I was like, Oh, I do kind of see that. But I don't know. It was, it was, I don't know. You read it and you tell me what you think. But when I say like, when I read this and I'm like, what the hell did I just read? The spicy scenes in this book are like, I thought the ritual had me blushing and on the edge of my seat. This, 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 this by far like this knocks that into left field like this spice in this book is incredible I, I mm, there's a scene where he uses something that you unalive people and this one also just like in the center if you've read that one you know exactly what I'm talking about and she loves it there is a scene in they end up going to this haunted house fair called Satan's Affair and which is also a really cool like you meet some really cool characters there and there is a hall of mirrors scene that I cannot get out of my brain that, yeah, I, 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 I mm, there's nothing to compare it to. You just got to read it. But I will say the trigger warnings at the beginning of this book are very, very real. And if there is a lot of, a lot of sensitive topics in this book, especially when it comes to children. So that did make it hard to read in certain, certain parts, like it, it, especially if you're a parent. It kind of makes it, not kind of, it makes it really hard to read. 
So I would read those trigger warnings and really decide if that's something you are capable of handling because when it says it goes into something, it doesn't just like talk about it. It goes into detail and I would really heed those trigger warnings. Yeah, I told my husband, I think this is one of the darkest books I've ever read. And then I got to the second one and then that just unlocked a whole new world of other books. I'm like, well, I, I didn't think it could get any darker, but the whole, you know, goes, the rabbit hole goes deep. And yeah, yeah, I introduced to a whole new world. But yeah, Haunting Adeline was incredible. I loved it. Zaid is the perfect little shadow daddy. And Sophie, where are you going? I don't think my dog wants to do this anymore. But yeah, and you'll like Adeline because she takes no shit. And she's she's funny. She even talks about like she knows like she should be scared of her stalker and she's not. And she should not be antagonizing him. She should not be enjoying him. And because, you know, she's not sure how she feels, she kind of hides this from her friend for a while because she doesn't know what she'll think. And you're kind of piecing together that her friend works for Zaid, but she doesn't know she works for Zaid. That's not really a spoiler. You'll learn. You'll kind of figure that out really quickly. But yeah, there's a lot of violence. There's a lot of spice. Uh, there's a lot of spice. Uh, and it just, I wouldn't say it's really paranormal, but it's a fun, it's like a, it's like a dark romance mi mixed with a mystery cold case. Um, I, I don't know, it's, it's fun, but it does, fair warning, in on a cliffhanger, which I knew going into it, so I wasn't too surprised. Yeah, I, I went ahead and bought the second book when I knew that because I knew I was gonna immediately wanna go into it, and you are. And the second book is even, second book is even heavier. Just be warned. This is this is a good one. This one's just heavy. This, but it's it's good. So yeah, pick it up. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Do you have any recommendations on similar books that you would like me to read and review? I can tell you, I have a list now. Like this opened a whole new world for me, and so I have a list. I just need to start going through and I'm excited to read them. I can't wait. I'm excited to talk about uh, Haunting Adeline, which I actually think I might've liked more than Haunting Adeline, which I know is rare in a book duet, but I think I did. Like, I really think I liked the second one even more. It just, yeah, I, 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 I think they're great. They're not for everybody. I, I will tell you that they are not for everybody. They are heavy. They are graphic. They are spicy. Eh, yeah, it's just, I love these. I liked them. so. Maybe you too. Give it a try. If this, if you are just dipping your toes into the world of dark romance, maybe don't start with this one. Let's maybe maybe go a little easier and work your way up to this one. It's kind of like a, it's like a fine wine. You don't start off drinking a two hundred dollar bottle of wine. You got to start off with the cheap stuff and work your way up. Otherwise, yeah, you may not like it. That was a terrible analogy, but you get my point. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I really liked it. I can't wait to talk about hunting Adeline and I will see you guys next time. Bye.